this really bad smell? This is the smell of rotting flesh. The prisoners are dead, huh? Unlike Rakiel, they must have refused to betray their brethren. So this was the fate of those who held on to their honor. These guys, or that traitor Rakiel, who made the right choice? Please stop, at least for now. <laughs> Help me! Jubiel! Over there! Someone's still alive! There are ten survivors in all. I must find a way to save these proud comrades. Wait, hold on. Do you intend to carry all of them? Once the Devil's Encircling Net is complete, there will be no escape. We don't have much time. You should stop! Hey, are you, like, saying we should just abandon them? Jupy, you know, right? To carry ten injured angels by yourselves before the devils swarm in on you is impossible. Manpower? I know. Jupiel, let's get them to help us out. Hey, Kamikaze. By them, do you mean that traitor Rakiel and the others? That's right. There are eight of them. And Jupiel and I make ten. That's exactly the same amount as the injured angels. Sir Shin, but they are traitors. But Rakiel is your childhood friend, right? Don't you honestly want to save him? Th that Besides, they told us about this place. That proves they can still be reformed. The way we're going, Rakiel, the other children, the injured angels, none of them will survive. We must decide now. Understood. I shall go persuade Rakiel and the others. I have already explained the situation to Rakiel and the others. They have agreed to cooperate. Hey! Hey! Is this really going to be alright? Rakiel, take a look at this terrible sight. The devils will never allow angels to live. They have deceived you. <sighs> I see, that's a good idea. Showing them what the devils are all about should be persuasive enough, even for those naive children. This is quite educational. Giving those kids a dose of reality might get them to cooperate. However, you've forgotten one important thing. Despite the fact that they are soldiers, those traitors are only children. Though the injured angels are currently emaciated, they were strong warriors. A child couldn't possibly carry one by themselves. In this case, the best you can do is have two kids carry one adult. But if that's the case, the number of... The time is drawing near. There are only two conceivable paths. One, though it would be a burden, is for everyone to carry one each. However, we would risk running out of time. If the enemy battalion arrives before we can escape, we will be in danger of being massacred. Two would be for you and I to each carry one, and have the children pair up to carry one for every two of them. Although the success rate for this plan would be higher, we will only be able to rescue six injured angels. So we would have to leave four of them with that plan. Sir Shin, please decide. No matter which plan you choose, I will support whatever decision God makes. time left. Because of that, I have to make sure we save as many people as possible. In order to do that, I must... I must... So you mean we are going to leave four of the injured angels? Are you against that? No. And I never will be. 
As your exclusively assigned angel, it is my position to support your decisions. I'm sorry. Honestly, I really want to save everyone. It's not your fault. The situation is bad. But in dealing with that situation, you did well to make such a difficult decision. Now then, let us begin. Sir Shin and I shall carry one injured angel each. Rakiel, you... Help me, too. Thank you. Now then, let us hurry. The reinforcements are about to arrive. I am well aware. However, at our current rate, if we continue to carry the injured angels, we might not be able to make it. But that's... Uh, but we can make it home in just a little while. Jupiel, what is keeping you? You are overdue for your extraction. The devils are approaching. I cannot wait for you any longer. As soon as you arrive at the rendezvous point, we will immediately depart. But sister... We are carrying injured angels that we rescued. We cannot risk the lives of everyone else. If you cannot come at once, you have no other option than to leave them behind. We've come this far, and now you're telling us to leave them here? I can't do that. Lady Jupiel, is something the matter, Dominial? We will return to Celestia soon. All we have to do is hold on just a little longer. Leave the devils to me. Please hurry and escape the netherworld, along with the injured angels. Hey, Dominio, what are you saying? Rockiel, I have always believed that each and every adult is selfish. To round us up to fight a war, where we do not even know why we are fighting, and to simply abandon us when things go bad. Regardless if they are angels or devils, all adults are the same. They all deserve to be betrayed. At least, that is what I thought. But Lady Jupiel and that guy are different. Goodbye, and thank you. If I had not met you two, I would still feel disappointed with the world. Hey! There is no need to worry about me. After all, I have this. This has a blast radius of one kilometer. When I snatched this grenade, I never thought it would ever actually come in handy. No! Dominio, come back! Wait! Please do not stop him! Why not? You guys are allies, right? You're actually gonna let him die? Sir Shin, we must continue this way. Even you, Jubiel? I beg of you, our only wish is to save these proud prisoners here. Please, let us hurry while the Devil's attention is focused on Dominio. Something like this. Let us go. Please do not waste Dominio's sacrifice. Shin Kamikaze, thanks to your rational decision, we saved seven children and six injured angels. On behalf of Celestia, you have my gratitude. No, there's no need to thank me. I've not earned such a right. How modest. However, modesty is not always necessarily a virtue. You should be more proud of yourself. The result of this last war operation will go a long way in forcing the opposing faction to acknowledge you as God. A long way, huh? More importantly, regarding the child soldiers that you saved, they were traitors, were they not? 
In regards to those groups, we abandoned them. We only saved our allies. These children cooperated with us and saved the injured angels. And during our escape, one of them even sacrificed himself to save us. I see. Understood. You made a wise decision. Now then, that concludes our debriefing. I will continue to look forward to your success. Why? Why did you not make the remedy for my sister? I believe that someone like you could make that medicine for me. That is how I was able to decide to join the fight, you know? The fact that you believed in me and went off to fight were conclusions you made on your own. I don't have any obligations to respond to that. Only... Only you had made the remedy. My sister would not have died, you know? I believe I told you before. My job is not to make remedies, nor did I guarantee that I could cure her. Julio's treatment was a job for a medical specialist. Forcing the fault of her death on me, as a mere prisoner, is absurd. <laughs> Ariel, it's true that you couldn't have done anything to prevent Polio's death. But saying something like that to someone who risked his life, who even betrayed his allies to see his sister again, is a little... Mariel! Is something the matter? Can you please quiet down? I heard. Is it true that Rockiel and the others were sent back out to the battlefields? Even though we went to all that trouble to save them, why? More importantly, sending children that young into battle. What are you thinking? They were the ones who volunteered. They said that because they had betrayed their allies even once, they no longer have a place to belong. Despite the fact that I heard that they were not traitors, it appears that was not in fact the case. Tormented by their guilty consciences, they sought to redeem themselves by volunteering for the most dangerous mission. Or so it seems. What the heck does any of that mean? And even though they were able to make it back alive, then what the hell should I have done? Why don't you calm down a bit?
You better entertain me! Oh, well if it isn't Kamikaze, what are you staring off into space for? That's not what I was doing. I was just thinking. No matter how much you think, it's not like you can ever bring back all those people who died. What's important is to not repeat the same mistake over again. Just come up with a better plan so that you won't fail next time. Are you saying that I haven't learned from my past regrets? You're the one who would be the best judge of that. <laughs> hey, Ariel. In order to save as many people as I could earlier, I abandoned four injured angels. As a human, did I make the right choice? I'm not sure if, as a human, it was the right thing to do. After all, I am a devil. However, in order to save as many people as you could, I believe it was the best choice. I never thought that you'd make such a choice, so you've betrayed my expectations, in a good way. You just might end up becoming a good god. That doesn't make me feel any better. I won't say you should be happy, but it's also not something you should be down about. You have succeeded in saving those who were fated to die. That wasn't just because of the power of the Fate Awakening Crystal. It was the result of your force of will. Ariel, are you by any chance trying to cheer me up? Impossible. I was simply telling you the truth. It'd be troubling if you take it that way for your own convenience. Now then, get some sleep already, Kamikaze. If you have time to worry, then hurry up and become a great god who can end this foolish war. Ariel, what's this? Oh, that. I no longer need it, so I was planning to dispose of it. It's Pulil's. Huh? Pulil's medicine? I thought you didn't make it. I never once said I didn't make it. I just said it wasn't worth researching. After all, its creation was far too easy. I was excited, since I heard there was no cure. But it was so easy, it was a real letdown. Was the medical specialist really that incompetent? Or was it because I'm too much of a genius? Well, obviously it's the latter. Then why didn't you give it to her? I went to give it to her. After all, I figured I didn't have a moment to lose. So I took it to her right after it was completed. However, when I brought the remedy to Puliol, do you know what she said to me? If I must take medicine that was prepared by a devil, for the sake of my honor, I would rather choose death. So that's why I didn't give it to her. I couldn't give it to her. That's... Such a strange thing, huh? No matter who made it, medicine is medicine. I don't really understand the reasoning of angels. But if that's the reason she never got the cure, why didn't you tell anyone about it? What's the point? Do you really think they'd actually believe me? It's not like I simply gave up, either. I tried to give the medicine to her medical specialist. However, that was a waste of time as well. We angels have our own way of treating ailments. 
What a great doctor indeed. Is that true? Chupi, you sure seem to have a knack for eavesdropping. I am terribly sorry. I did not intend to do such a thing. I was simply unable to find a good time to enter. Seriously, I never intended for you to hear about this. You're second on my list of people I didn't want to find out. So, Puliel's remedy was completed then? Yes. However, Puliel died, and her younger brother is no longer here either. Since now's a good opportunity, I decided to dispose of it. Why? Why did you not tell me the truth? If I told you the truth, I knew you'd believe me. However, in that case, would you have been able to come to terms with your childhood friend's death? Huh? She died because she didn't want to accept a cure that was created by a devil. What would you have thought of your childhood friend then? That... Miss Ariel, do you perhaps care about us? But in this case, you chose to take on the role of the bad guy. I didn't take on the role. I am the bad guy. It's not like I want to be one. I've just embraced it, since that's what I am regardless. I am sorry. I said something horrible to you without even knowing the truth. I don't want you to misunderstand. I thought it would just make things worse, so I didn't say anything I didn't have to. Miss Ariel, I have misjudged you. In truth, you are... Hold it. Don't tell me an angel is going to say a devil is a good person. If your admirable sister finds out, she's going to cry. Now then, Jupy, it's fine already. I'm just going to dispose of it. I don't want you to get in my way. This medicine died with Pulio, so I'm going to dispose of it. It no longer has a purpose. Regarding that medicine, will you send it over to Pulio? <laughs> what do you have in mind? It's not like Pulio has a grave, you know. After all, she was absorbed by the Engine Corps. That medicine contains the essence of magical power, so you will be able to send it to the Engine Corps, at least to where Puliel is. Such a fairy tale like idea. <laughs> oh well, that wouldn't be a waste. It would at least make my efforts a little more worthwhile. Also, Miss Ariel, let me consider this as well. What are angels? What are devils? I would like to examine this one more time. Hey now, that's quite a daring declaration coming from the commander's sister. You're in the midst of a war. That could be treason. I am grateful for your warning. However, it is strange to hear that coming from you. <laughs> You're exactly right. You sure talk big. So this is the Engine Core. Yes. In order to contribute to Celestia, it has been decided that all angels who die in Celestia would be brought here. Now then. This is the Ami Magic Refinery. Not even one guard to be found. Something is definitely strange. This does not match Lady Mariel's information. Are you assassins from Celestia? Y you are? You must be a devil as well! I shall cut you down! Wait! He is not someone we can contend with! You're good. You must be a warrior of pretty high standing. 
even in Celestia. However, you're still naive. There is no way we can win! We must hurry and tell Lady Mario! Despite the fact that you're a warrior, are you going to run? You're not even worth chasing after. Hey, you bastard! Why are you letting him go? I have no interest in those who have lost the will to fight. All I yearn for is to fight against the strong. I never asked you to do something like that, dumbass! How many times do I gotta explain this? What are you, chicken or something? Your job is to massacre every damn angel! Just throw all your principles, stances, and bullshit in the trash! Seriously, if you keep this up, you're gonna get your ass handed to you by that god created in Celestia! I see. So God has finally descended for them as well. That's basically the idea. Apparently, Ariella Garrier has really done it this time. That friggin' traitor! I'm gonna give her a real beating once we get her back. I need nothing else. All I want is to face the strong. If I were to face Celestia's God, he shall be a worthy opponent. That will be the next target for he and Inugami! Decide to yearn for power? Yeah. I want to become stronger. So that I can save anyone suffering in front of me. Then build your power. Still haven't shown your true value. The power is sleeping inside you. Just gotta awaken it. The power that's sleeping inside of me? Right. Good progress. Very good progress. Progress? What do you mean? Your gear of destiny. Very good progress. Working without delay. No problem. What are you talking about? Gain more power. I want you to become a splendid god. Okay then. See you later. Mission 4. The Howling Raging Beast. Sir Shin, I was wondering why you were not in your room. Are you training this early in the morning? Um, Sir Shin? Sir Shin, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, Jubil. Sorry. I didn't know you were here. I have been calling you repeatedly for a while, but got no response. I was concerned that you might be worrying too much about something. I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm alright. I was just so focused, I didn't notice you. It appears that you are training intently. Would you like me to join you? Yeah, that'd be great. I've never done anything like this before. Did you, perhaps, not get any sleep? And now that you mention it, I feel like I've been practicing my swing for like forever. Training in such a way is not good. You must get proper rest. Everything in moderation. I don't have time for that. I need to get much stronger as soon as possible. I want to be far more powerful than I ever was before. I see your point, Sir Shin. However, overworking yourself will result in the opposite effect. The common sense approach will take too long. The enemy won't wait for me to get stronger. I need to get more power. Faster than ever. That may be true, but it does not mean... Jupiel, I don't mind. No matter how hard the training is, teach me how to get stronger right away. I can't bear to see anyone else die in front of me just because I'm not strong enough. Sir Shin... Understood. As your exclusively assigned angel, I shall give you my very best. I'll show you my power.
So, how has Shin's progress been lately? I have reviewed the content of his training. The amount and the time has increased compared to before. Out of impatience, he was trying to train excessively, so I put a stop to that. He is currently following my regimen. As for the crystal's condition, the output is stable, and the synchronization with his body is excellent. It's growing rather smoothly. Let me rephrase the question. Is he becoming stronger? All I want to know is in regards to that. He is becoming stronger. The result of his actual combat experience and his training is possibly creating a multiplier effect. As of now, I believe he would be able to keep up against devils of even medium status. We cannot be satisfied with devils of merely medium status. After all, he is to be our ultimate weapon. The value of his maximum output is soaring. He is definitely becoming stronger. I see. That is good to hear. I am looking forward to his success on the next operation. Thank you for the report. You are dismissed. <sighs> um, Miss Ariel? What's up, Jupy? About Sir Shin. What are your thoughts on his current state? That's a vague question. What's on your mind? It'll be easier to answer if you ask me what you want to know specifically. Sir Shin came to the desire of pursuing power just recently. Considering everything he has been through, it is understandable that he would yearn for more power. But at his current state, eventually... Yes, he will reach his limit soon enough. Huh? What are you two doing together? Sir Shin! Jupiel, I want to train now. Is that okay? Let us take a little break. You need to rest. I don't need to rest. More importantly, what should I do next? Hurry up and teach me how to get stronger. Don't overwork yourself. Your current condition is far too frantic. You're overloaded, both physically and mentally. Just rest for now. What the hell? You're both telling me to rest? You want me to become a strong god, right? That's why you embedded this crystal into me. I'm telling you to rest because it would be far more troublesome if you self-destruct from being too reckless. Be reasonable. D don't treat me like a kid! It's fine. If you're not going to help me out, I'll do it by myself. Sir Shin... That is really not a good sign. We should brace ourselves for the worst possible outcome. Our next target has been decided. We will attack the Ami Magic Refinery. Ami? It is a factory that refines and redistributes all the magic that passes through the entire netherworld. It is a high-value target. I see. So in terms of my world, it's like a power plant. By attacking this target, we will decrease the functionality of other vital facilities, which will give us an advantage in future operations. If that's the case, why did you wait until now to attack it? The guards stationed at the Ami Magic Refinery are all above intermediate devil status. One mistake, and we will only increase our losses. But, we have increased our military power now that we have you on our side. With your power, we can now succeed. That is basically it. Understood. So you want me to infiltrate the facility and destroy it then? That is exactly right. Will you be able to do it? Of course I'll do it. Please, let me do it. Thank you. Jupio, Aria, I shall leave the battle preparations to you. Hey Kamikaze, what in the world do you intend to do? What are you talking about? Don't what me? Devils will not be easily defeated with such a thin veneer of power, you know. Devils above intermediate status are especially monstrous. They're strong enough to turn the tables, even against ten regular angels. No matter how much power you yearn for, it's not like you can become stronger that easily. If this goes poorly, you're going to die. <laughs> Sir Shin, it is just as Ariel said. Even if you haphazardly seek such power, 
it does not mean you can win. What is important on the battlefield is not simply military power, but the ability to calmly read the situation and adapt to it. I have seen many people die on the battlefield because they were too confident in their power. I do not want you to end up the same way. Understood. You're completely right. I'll be careful. I'll show you my power.